fourth frame, nothing. And we come down to the fifth frame and it has some values that have changed. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I've actually been revisiting, actually since yesterday, I've been working on this for like 15 hours now. Um, and I finally figured out why 8 channels is faster than 16 channels. Now I took all your theories into consideration. I've been testing every single one of them. Um, for example, someone said that one frame has the evens, even channels and the other frame has the odd channels. Uh, that was false. I did make a video but it's pointless now. Uh, because it, it doesn't do that. It sends all the channels on every single frame. Now, you might say, okay, well, if it sends it in every single frame, um, it'll send 16 channels no matter what. If you set 8 channels on D16 or if you set 16 channels, it'll always send the 16. So, why does it show up as double the latency or it doubles in the time in the RC commands instead of eight milli or 9 milliseconds to 18 milliseconds? Well, it comes down to two things. Now, I've been testing all day, and I got this last theory to test. Right after I thought I was finished, I was like, that's it, I'm correct. Everyone else is wrong. All the 16 channels are always there, and so I don't see why the latency is. I looked at the code. I saw the beta flight code actually splits it into two frames for some reason. So my first theory was, okay, well, since all the 16 channels are going through every single frame, so Betaflight is actually taking the first frame, and it just takes 8 channels from the first frame, waits for the second frame, and then takes the other 8 channels, which is 9 through 16, combines them, thus giving us double the time, which is the, the extra latency. Now, it does do that, but there's a reason why it does that, actually. And it was from one of my friends, and his name is Jasper. He was the one that said, hey, listen, um, check the update. So basically, maybe in one frame, it'll update uh, channels 1 through 8, and then the other frame, it will ch update the channels 9 through 16. So when I thought I was complete, I said, you know what, I have to test this. Maybe it's correct, maybe it's not. So this actually took me a pretty long while to actually get it down, just make sure I have tested it correctly. So let me tell you my methodology here. Alright, so what I did is I took channel 1 and channel 16, other channels as well, but we're going to be concentrating on channel 1 and 16. 1 and 16, I have set them to this switch here. And you could pr just pretend that it's my throttle, and I'm able to hit it from 0 to 100 in super quick, where it just registers uh, the value is perfect, either 0 or 100, as in like full throttle. Now, as you can see right here, that's the switch. So I've set my oscilloscope to listen, to capture everything before and after by a couple, of, I don't want to say, 20 milliseconds or more, by a bunch more, like this is a total of maybe 200 milliseconds here, I'm not sure, but it's more than enough. So here's the packets before the full throttle and here's the packets after the full throttle. Now, what I found out is that, now this is on D16, 16 channels. So what we do is when I hit this, I kept checking channel 1 and 16 and other channels as well, but we're going to be, like I said, we're going to constrain channel 1 and 16. So here we got full throttle. So in theory, we should have uh, channels 1 and 16 read full throttle in these upcoming frames here. And what we do find is that's not really the case. So if we go here, so this is where the throttle happened, full throttle happened. So we can say this frame, this frame has nothing, no values were changed. This frame also nothing, which is this is I'm gonna consider it the second frame, third frame, nothing, fourth frame, nothing, and we come down to the fifth frame and it has some values that have changed. But what has changed? What has changed, you would expect channel one and sixteen to be changed, but no, it actually just changed channel sixteen on the fifth frame to full throttle. And then when we jump to the second frame, it changed channel one to full throttle. Now both of them are full throttle. So what it does is it actually updates every other frame. So one frame will update channels 1 through 8, the other frame would update channels 
uh, 9 through 16 and that is why uh, we do have that extra latency so the beta flight code takes that into consideration however people were wrong I was wrong partially right and um, I've been talking to Joshua Bardwell about this I just gave him the final results now but I have not given him the details just yet he's gonna see it in this video here and um, in theory we should be totally capable of actually having 16 channels on eight on nine milliseconds in one frame because it's passing everything just perfect so there's some kind of a bottleneck you would say it's either the processor on this um, transmitter or the sbus protocol but i'm sure the sbus protocol is, is pulling everything but why is it not updating the other half so i'm going to look into the code and if anyone also is um programmer or developer or knows anything about this why is this limitation uh there is from the transmitter itself so uh if it is i'm actually gonna go pick up a horus well i'm gonna see if someone could provide me a horus for testing and to see if it comes down basically to the processing power of the transmitter itself maybe it cannot update 16 channels at once plus this one has a lot of latency guys um you know five frames until we got our first result so it shows that it does have latency um pretty good around 30 millisecond latency but don't forget this is 16 channels fully enabled so eight eight channels could be a little bit less but it, that's still quite a lot of latency right there all right so right now let's take a look at what i found and i'll show you how frames five and six had their updates so i'm going to show you the values in a picture if i do remember hopefully i remember in a picture up here or somewhere out of the screen where it shows you how it would look like on um, zero throttle and then you'll see it here when it's on full throttle so we're going to start with channel 16. now we need to go to the fifth frame because that's the first uh that that's the first frame where it updated to full throttle um any value updated so the fifth frame so we have to start counting from here this is where i started counting one two three four five so this one so let's zoom in on this one here oops sorry just double checking one two three four five okay so this guy right there so all right let's take a look here All right, so this is channel 16 and channel 16 this would read full throttle and i'll show you a picture possibly down here if i can fit it that that's how uh zero throttle looks like so this is the first value where it got updated to full throttle um the previous ones did not get updated to 50 percent or 90 percent throttle it was either a zero or a 100 that's how they all updated so that's very good we got a clean result okay so that's one thing right there that's that's our first update which was on the fifth frame on channel 16 and now if we zoom back out and we go to channel six i mean sorry frame six frame six this is uh channel one right here um and it's full throttle so this was the first update for channel one so now we have both so beta flight would have waited for this one and this one combine them together thus getting our brand new updated um values for our channels so that's how this is working right now so it's it's not about that you know even some of the devs i've, I've contacted um some of them do believe or they told me that no they're passed in two frames however all the channels are passed in every frame but they're updated every other frame so that is what we see and that is where the latency comes from so the end result that it is very possible and very likely to have 16 channels in eight milliseconds however we just i just i really I, as at the current moment of time i really don't know what's the bottleneck or why is that limitation set in place now for sure it's not a beta flight issue but if it's some kind of a software issue or some kind of a cpu or processor issue then um we will know that hopefully i can try to get us a horus a fr sky horus in and then test it out and see what's up so uh that's going to be for another video and well that's really it i mean that, that's it so uh some of you are right some of you are wrong i was right i was wrong uh joshua bardo was correct also so that's very good on that part and i'm uh, and 
yeah, it was, it was very fun. It was very interesting. If you guys think I've missed something, please let me know. I'm more than happy to correct myself and redo any of the tests here for you guys. And um, I'm just doing this for all of us, so I'm sure everyone else is curious as I am. So it was, it was to be honest, it was very fun. I really enjoyed it, and uh, uh, it was just an eye-opener. So good thing I actually listened to my friend Jasper. If it wasn't for him, I would have just uh, made a video telling you guys, no, 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 they're all coming at the same time. But that I would not have known the update, um, that it updates every other frame. So big shout out to him, and um, and yeah, well, that's really it. So let's just quickly talk about what we're gonna be doing on the next episode. Next episode, we're gonna be comparing D6, D8 versus D16 on FR Sky, and then later on, we're gonna be actually measuring the point of full throttle from the remote control from the transmitter all the way down to the ESC signal, which is the motor. Uh, that'll be also upcoming in this series, and we're also gonna be doing the same thing on IBUS like the Turnergy Evolution, um, and we're going to be doing the uh, FlySky receivers. And hopefully I can get some other kind of receivers in, we could also test those as well. And, um, well, that's really going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if I was wrong in something, please correct me. I'll be more than happy to redo something for you guys. Um, and that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So, see ya. Take care.